Oh hello Wild Ones, I'm here in the woods today and I'm going to have a go at making an Adirondack shelter with my tarp and hopefully cook some really tasty food too. So today I've got my 3.5 by 3.5 DD multicam tarp and I'm going to try and put that up in an Adirondack formation. So that's kind of like a diamond over a ridge line. So the first thing I need to do is put a ridge line up and clear some space on the floor and then we'll see about getting this tarp up. For an extra special treat today, I've even tied my prosics correctly, so that's nice, huh? Right, let's get this tarp out. So I'm going to lay this tarp out on the ground in a diamond shape. It's huge! Such a big boy! So I'm bringing it over the ridge line and attaching it to the ridge line. One, two points down from the front corner. And the same on this side. Amazing! Let's head around the back. So we need our pegs now. We are at the back of the tarp and we're going to do the same again. Start at the back corner and count back one, two attachment points and peg that in. Put it nice and tight and then on this side, one, two, peg that in. This bit here, just going to stick it underneath. And then you just peg down the sides like this. Nice and taut. Same on this side. This flappy bit, you can either sling it back out the way or what I'm going to do is use some paracord to run it off to that tree over there. And then that's like an extra bit of shelter. I love it, that's amazing. I'm just going to kick some leaves up against the back to keep the breeze out. It's gone a bit dark and windy so before the rain really comes down or in case it does I'm gonna go look for lots of firewood stick it under my tarp and then it'll stay sort of dryish so I've got lots of wood ready for this evening I have brought some wood with me as well to start the fire because it has been raining so everything's kind of damp and I wanted some nice dry wood to start my fire off. I've tried to take the wood that isn't directly on the ground sort of sticking up so hopefully it's a little bit less wet but we'll see how we go. So I think next I'm going to start preparing some delicious food. We've got kebabs tonight. I am so excited so I've got chicken breast, lamb steak and I've got lots of Cajun seasonings. I've got rice and saffron and some lovely bread. It's going to be so good. Let's get started. So I'm going to make a tasty seasoning with these. Then I'm going to coat the meat in it and leave it for a while to get all flavoursome. I'm going to chuck in all the oregano. Oh, which one is the paprika? Which one's cayenne? <laughs> that was the pepper. I'm going to chuck all the paprika in there. Wow, this is really hot. How much do we have? Should we have like, let's have that much cayenne. How much garlic do you reckon? Like that much? Salt. Oh, getting chilly. Huh, that's nice. So next, I'm gonna take this meat, chuck this seasoning all over, and then just leave it to sit for a while. That is gonna be some tasty food. Look at that. So I'm gonna put this on skewers in a little while. I've got my skewers soaking in some water, hoping that they're not just gonna burn to shreds on the fire, so we'll see how that goes. That is all looking incredible. So next is fire. Should we do birch bark? Let's do birch bark. Let's see if we can find some. Ooh, birch tree. Perfect, look at that. Oh, hi friends. So I've got dried ferns with me today that I bought from home. I collected them last year actually, so they were very dry but then my bag got wet so they're a bit damp again now but hopefully they'll be okay as like tinder. Let's see. Right, let's get a spark in that.
get these coals on. I bought coals from home as well. Let's get me sticks out of here. There's my sticks, all soaked. Let's get this water going for the rice. on there to cook the meat. That is absolutely heavenly. Oh wow, amazing, look at that. Beautiful rice. Yeah, look at that, that's the chicken. Oh my god. That's my dinner <laughs> and my midnight snack and my breakfast probably. I didn't think that was going to work. I thought there was too much going on at once there. But yeah, amazing. Cheers. That food was absolutely incredible. I can't believe I pulled it off actually. I didn't think that was going to happen at one point but yeah, it was all fine. So I've got the fire going again. Got my little lantern going and I'm gonna get all my bed made up now. Just chill out for a little while. So I've just been having a look at what Adirondack actually means. Apparently it's a large group of mountains in the US that run through northern part of the state of New York and also derived from the Mohawk Indians word atirutax meaning tree eaters. So there you go. Right so I've got my bed all out and floofing up ready for later. Um, I'm not in my full winter stuff yet, going into my autumn things so I've got my leviathan, I've got my hunker XL BV today because I want to have my sleeping mat inside it and my sleeping mat is my Thermarest XM so that is my winter mat. I mean it's lovely and warm at the moment with the fire going but I think it's going to be about 6 degrees tonight, lows of anyway so yeah it's going to be pretty fresh and I'll be lovely and snug in my little sleeping bag. It is a lovely and cosy 16 degrees under the shelter at the moment which is really nice but my wood is getting low for the fire so we'll see what it drops to when the fire goes out but I am really loving this shelter. It's just gorgeous because you've got so much coverage over the top all the way down the back and at the sides as well. The sides come around to sort of hug you in and keep the breeze out. So I guess I'm going to get a hot drink on in a little while and then get ready for bed. So I can't really tell what the temperature is because my thermometer is being totally random. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but having a look at the weather app on my phone, it said it got down to four degrees last night, so really cold. I slept for eight or nine hours in my cozy bed, so that is amazing. There was no rain that I know of unless I slept through it. I don't think there was any rain, so yet to try this in the rain. I'll try it another time. But yeah, just getting a coffee going and gonna have my breakfast. Chocolate coffee, of course. Got a chocolate twist today. That's my breakfast. 
so that's going to be really good. Yeah, I can feel it's chilly. My hands are cold. And I'm really liking this Adirondack shelter. I think it's really, really cool. I love how you sort of feel enclosed in it, but you've still got this huge view all around you and you still feel really nice and connected with nature and your surroundings. So I think I'm going to finish my coffee and I'm going to get out of here, guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.